Hi, my name is Monique Menes, and I'm doing the distance learning program, and I work at G. and I'd like to explain to you what I did to show Ampere's Law. I built a galvanometer. Basically, a galvanometer can measure the small amount of current going through a coil induced by a magnetic field. So, let's talk a little bit about how I made it. You can get any sort of just piece of wood to use as your base, and then you want to um, to conduct your, to make your coil, you can use some sort of non-conducting material like a PVC pipe, and um, get about a, a 20 gauge amp wire and rotate it around um, at least 20 to 25 times so you can get a good enough um, magnetic field going through here. And then once you reach the ends, you're going to want to drill two holes at opposite ends of your PVC pipe just to have the ends of your wire going out so you could bolt them down later. And then once you have that, you can rubber band or somehow um, mount the PVC pipe to your base. And um, you'll want to use for your fastening devices brass for the, the screws, the washers and the nuts just because it's non-magnetic. So you'll want to drill those up from the bottom and then fasten the leads of your coil to the screw. You can also put plastic um, little mounts just in case you don't have it on a wooden base. You don't want it touching anything. And then um, once you have the leads of your coil fastened down, you also want to get the leads of your voltage source fastened down. So I took a uh, D-cell and just um, cut two leads and I have either of those going to each end of the uh, brass screws. So you have those. And then you want some way to measure the amount of flexion that you're getting because of the magnetic field and the current that's going through this coil. So. I took just, you can get one at Walmart, a little compass and super glued it down into the center of the coil. So that's how we're going to measure the amount of flexion. So just to give you a little demo as to what it does, we have both the positive terminal and the negative terminal of your D-cell attached to leads. And you want to just see the most deflection have the uh, compass aligned with north so it's perpendicular to the lines of the coil. Then once you connect the two leads, you'll notice that the compass does a complete 180 change just to allow the, the magnetic compass to line up with the lines of flux going through that coil right now. So then if you detach them, it goes back to um, north. So there's, there's no permanent demagnetization there. And then if you want to say, if you want to reduce the amount of current going through this circuit, you can uh, use a piece of graphite. You can find this with a, a little drawing compass that you use. You can attach the leads through here. And notice that it only does a about a 90 degree turn over to east, maybe even a little less than that, depending on the contact and how close you move them. So. Basically right there, you've upped the resistance going through your wire, and so there's less current, and the magnetic field is reduced due to the high resistance. Then you can also just take, um, if you connect the battery together again and have that um, compass, and then you can have another magnet, and notice that as you move it around, the compass is also going to move, just because those lines of flux being overtaken are trying to go through the permanent magnet now. So, just a little example of a galvanometer, homemade galvanometer for you guys to demonstrate Ampere's Law. Ampere's Law measures the amount of uh, magnetic fields going through a current carrying coil in a, in a magnetic field. So, um, using this, you could technically calculate uh, the amount of current going through it and try and find out with your voltage, how much magnetic field is being induced through the coil. But in today's application, since usually galvanometers are used to measure a very small amounts of current, it would be useful for nanovolt measurements or any devices using nanovolts, just because you can get a pretty accurate measurement for small readings like that. So, I hope
hope you liked my demonstration and uh, have a good class. Bye.